everyone. Um, I'm going to show you the technique using the lace because I've had quite a few requests about it. Um, right now, the only thing I wanted, uh, well, that I had on hand um, was this little cross. But you can do this technique on any surface. And you remember, not long ago, I got these. I found them on the internet on eBay. Um, and if you type in, I'm dropping them. If you type in uh, steam, steampunk spikes, um, you'll find them on uh, websites like that. Um, these are not called steampunk, steampunk spikes, but it was the spikes I was looking for for my daughter for an outfit that she was doing in a steampunk st uh, style and I happened to come across these. They were actually a little bit bigger than what I, I initially thought. But I'm going to see, I'm not sure if I can, but I'm going to see if I can use them on here. Um, so right now, I'm not going to, I'm just marking it out really, basically. But knowing my look, I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> uh. Let me just see if I can... Actually, it went through... The... Oh, there, right, I can see. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I'm not going to bother like that. I'm going to go away. I'll, I'll do the lace bit first. What I've done to save time is I've painted it black. I've got muck everywhere. Hang on. That's the better side. Um, And that's the front. And first of all, I'm going to colour it. Because we need to colour it. Uh, let me see. Now, I don't those. not those. Um, I'm going to choose the gold, uh, the red and the green. I do like those colours mixed together. They're really nice. And I'm using the Luminaire paints. Now, you don't have to. I've told you before. You do not have to have these paints. If you've got um, some eye makeup powder um, or makeup you can crush and make a powder and you've just got ordinary paints poster paints whatever paint you want to use it doesn't oh I've just put that straight in the black like a twit um, it doesn't matter right what paint you've got but if you can get hold of some uh, pearlized or you know mica powder from eyeshadow or whatever that will do the same thing once you've painted it or you can mix it in with your paint and make it pearlised. You know, you don't have to lay a fortune out. I bought these cheap while I was in America. Uh, otherwise I wouldn't be using them. Right, oh, where's my... Oh, I'm just going to get my brush. Now, all I'm going to do is just to put some colour on. And I'm just pup, pupping. Do you know I, I'm going to meet a stranger? I can't speak tonight. Isn't, isn't that right? You're going to meet a stranger if you talk funny. Yeah. <laughs> Um, right, I don't normally, in fact I'll do it this way because I don't want to do it in the lid. I'm going to put some pink or red, whatever it is. I'm sure I'm uh, losing it. And then I'm going to add some gold. And I'm just dabbing it along. This is a type of paint, it won't run into the other one from one bottle to another. I just don't want to mix the lid because I use the lids a lot. Okay, so we've done that, and then all I'm going to do, stipple it. Stipple it together, you get fantastic, fantastic colours. Look at that. You have to put enough on, of course. But I just love the blend of colour. So I'm making sure, I hope you can see. And, and you've got a texture to it as well. So, just put that to wash. Pop these lids on a minute, because I always knock everything over. Yeah, I've spoken to Raymond tonight. We're going to try and reorganise this room, because it's not working for me. I've got, I've got no room. I'm always getting cluttered of, of space. I'm just going to turn that that way, so you can probably see that better. Beautiful colours, look at that. And then what we're going to do is dry it. I mean, that would look fantastic on its own, but I do want the lace texture on it.
it's also bubbling which is great more texture fabulous look at this oh wow I don't think I want to put the lace on it now <laughs> well we'll just see how that goes try and pat that down a little bit because that can bubble later not first take some glue uh, you want a glue that will dry clear I'm using a Mod Podge at the moment and um, I'm not going to use that brush be honest this is what I like these um, the main brushes that I use are just nylon because you can use them for any medium to be honest now I need quite a thick layer don't worry about the edges or anything like that we don't bother I need quite a thick layer of uh, glue because you do want this to um, stick And soak in. Take your piece of uh, material, your lace. I'm just going to have to cut this. Sorry, I've got a two, um, paper in my mouth. Oh. It's not going to be wise enough to use sweat. That will do. Was it like that? Not today, is it? Uh, right, lay that on. Take your brush and lob some more of the um, glue on. Now, the reason why you need to put a lot of glue on, this is the reason I find, is because this is a nylon material. Now, what happens to nylon when you heat it? It ends up all holy or um, melts. So the glue will actually protect the lace to a certain degree. And just make sure we have plenty of that on. Like that. Now, that's fine. And that should be the end of that. Now all I'm going to do is to dry that off. A quick drink of my coffee while I do this. Hmm. You will start to see the material melting as it's drying. Look, starting to pull it in, but hopefully we'll save it where the glue is. I'm just going to release some of that uh, material just to help it a little bit. You can trim it all off later. But for any newbies, you know these are great techniques to learn straight away. Um, uh, and it'll enhance your crafting if you've never done it before. These are great tips and um, techniques to learn because you can take them away, master them yourself, and just create. We get a lot of, oh, I get a lot of emails saying about people, oh, I'm not confident enough, I can't do this, I've never done that, what will happen? And I just say, go for it. I'll tell you why. Because without experimenting, how are you going to know what you come up with? And you might discover something nobody else has discovered. So then you come along and you show everybody else. And we can all learn from you. A new beginner. Um, a new person 
can discover something that nobody else has ever done by trying things out. Um, and that's all. That's what it's all about: sharing. So if you uh, happen to mix and match something and come up with something new, share it. Right, I'm just going to... I might trim that a little bit more to be honest. I'm going to turn it this way. Ow, it's hot. <laughs> you do have to be careful, I have to say. Um, with a lot of things when you're heating. I will go around with the smaller scissors later. I'm just taking the majority of it off so you can get to see the effect. Have some real tiny scissors. Um, if you are a newbie to crafts, um, and we do have a few watching, um, Try and work your way up to having the tools to work with. Because with the tools, um, you can do so much more. Now we always say it's better to have a good selection of scissors. I do have uh, videos out on what scissors uh, would be ideal. They're not a necessity, but they do help um, in your crafting. Because you should really have separate scissors for, for different things. Okie dokie, let's just clear that off. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is go back in with these colours. See the colours underneath? Look fab. I could have just put that on, but I want that underneath. Just get my paintbrush again. Start with some colour here and there. Okay, I'm dip it into that one. And then straight into the green. And then all we're going to do is uh, stipple it again. If you find you haven't got enough of the one colour, just go in and do some more. It doesn't matter how thick it is. To be honest, the thicker, the better, because you're going to get a fantastic texture. Now, I know I've stippled that, but I'm not seeing as much of the lace as I want to. So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> and it's not often I do, is uh, just wipe some of it off. And I won't waste that, that'll go in a little pot. I have a little pot where I put all my extra paints in. I can now see the texture. Uh, I've got the colour. I might just put a touch more red in it. Um, that's it. Let's move that about. I can see the lace as well. That's fabulous. Um, let me pop the lids back on these. <coughs> Dry this off.
push that down so you can actually see the lace underneath. Yeah, that's fabulous. With that texture, just be careful. Oh, I've put my hand straight in that, you silly nana. <laughs> oh, I can't be trusted to do anything right. Right, I'm just going to show you the... Can You um, You can see it. You can see the material underneath. Sorry. Isn't that stunning? 